Next we will see how we can convert a number in decimal which has a fractional part to any other number system with radix r. Here we are going to consider only the fractional part. So we multiply the fractional part by the radix r and write the integer part and fractional part separately. And we are going to repeat step 1, 2, 3 till the fractional part becomes 0 or we will re repeat this process till the required number of fractional positions in the destinated number system. And the fractional number part in the required number system is the integer part from step 2 written from top to bottom. We will see an example so that we can understand better. So we wanted to convert 0.6875 in decimal number system to binary number system. So, this is the fraction that I have. This is the radix to which I wanted to convert. I just multiply this to get the product and we the product is actually 1.375. So, I write this integer part separately and fractional part is 0.37 and I will multiply this 0.37 by 2 and get 0.75. So, 0 is the integer part, part and 0.75 is the fractional part. So, again we will keep on multiplying this by 2 till I get the fraction to be 0. And what is the equivalent of 0.6875 in decimal number system in binary is 0.75. 1011. So, this is how we write it. Suppose if I wanted to convert this 0.6875 in decimal number system to octal number system, we multiply this fraction by the radix of the octal number system which is 8 and then we get the product which is 5.5, 5 is the integer part and 0.5 is the fractional part. I multiply this 0.5 with 8 and we get 4.0 and the fractional part has become 0 and 4 is the integer part. So, the equivalent of 0.6875 in decimal is 0.54 in octal number system. One more example in hexadecimal. I want to convert 0.513 in decimal number system to hexadecimal number. So, we multiply this with radix uh, 16 which is the radix of hexadecimal number and we get the product to be 8.208 and the integer part is 8, fractional point is, part is 0 0.208. So, we multiplied 0 0.208 by 16 and so on and see here this is not ending, it, it is still going. I, I should keep on multiplying this 0 0.968 by 16 and so on, okay. But the question simply asks you to find two four, four positions, okay. So, I can just have four multiplications and say 0.5. 1, 3 in decimal number system is approximately equal to 0.8353 in hexadecimal number system. So, to convert a number in decimal to any other number system in radix r, we will first convert the integer part to the radix r number system. Let that be x. And then we will convert the fractional part of decimal number separately to radix r number system. Say let it be y and the number in the radix r system is actually x with radix point followed by y. For example, if I want to convert 
1234.6875 in decimal number system to binary. I will convert this 1, 2, 3, 4 separately which we have got this to be 1, double, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, double, 0, 1, 0 and then we have converted this 0. 0.6875 to binary by repeatedly multiplying this and separating out the uh, integer part which we have got to be 1011. So, we have just concatenated the integer part of 1, 2, 3, 4 in binary followed by the binary point followed by the binary equivalent of 6875 which is 1011. Similarly, I can have this number converted to octal and I will have the octal point separating the integer part of uh, the octal uh, number which is 2322 and 0.54 in octal is equivalent to 0.6875 in decimal and similarly I can do it in uh, hexadecimal. These two things I have put equal to because they have exactly equal to the, the the when we have converted the fractional part we have got the fractional part to be zero at the end that is how we have terminated this computation but here in the last computation which is um, the uh, hexadecimal computation the the fractional part keeps on growing okay so i can say it is approximately equal to so in the next class we will see how to convert a number from any other number system to decimal number system and thank you for watching.